for the time of 83. Okay, friends, we're about eight minutes away from the start of day two. You got Mel our announcer on the street here on fourth Ave. The mushrooms can drop. So here we go. We'll turn the camera around. Welcome aboard, friends. Here's everybody getting in position here in Anchorage. There's the Fur Ronde building. Light snow coming down in. We're about eight minutes away. Remember, it starts a little bit later on Saturday. Look at this. Perfect conditions. The banner over our mushing district. We just had our signing ceremony. So in future years, you're going to see a beautiful arch here. The mushing, mushing district arch. Here's Janet Clark, <laughs> our race official. The blue line is now in. The start line is officially here. And we are just a few minutes away. Janet, how you feeling? Kind of a lot of commotion down here, Kale, as you <laughs> notice. Look down the avenue, right? <laughs> we got a lot going on. Oh, we do have a police car down there, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see, you see why we're all staring down the avenue? I got know, it. Trying to think which of our drivers have outstanding warrants. <laughs> War <laughs> How's the, uh, the, uh, the trail conditions today? I know the crew and Dan were out there working hard, grooming all morning. Yeah, they've been grooming all night. And all night, right? They've been grooming all night. And right now, I think actually our dog trails, our sled dog trails down in the middle of Anchorage look great. I think the street's going to be a little weird. Okay. So, yeah. so, you know, that's, that's, that's the rendezvous, Kate. That's the rendezvous, right? That's the rendezvous, yeah. And as I said to the drivers, it's not supposed to be easy, so. Exactly. Well, thank you for all that you do. Yeah. I know everybody at home is cheering us all on. We have about six minutes, right? Six minutes to race time. That's our race marshal, Janet. Clark here for the Alaska Sled Dog Racing Association. Uh, like she said, there's a little commotion going on down on 4th Ave there. Fill you in there later. Here's our official time clock. And our first dog team is going to be Sean Constantine Dawolski. He's running a half, uh, uh, half streeper team. So in just a few minutes, you'll see this team head out first. He finished with the slowest time yesterday uh, when Rondi uh, goes into day two. It's a reverse start. That means the slowest teams start first. Uh, that allows the slowest teams to get down the trail and have a good run. And then the fastest teams have to start last and pass. So there's Sean right there. Remember, he is running some of his own Huskies, some of his own Streeper Dogs, and then he has eight of the Streeper Dogs with him. Welcome from around the world, February 24th. It's a beautiful day here in Anchorage. Look at these little dogs, beautiful open class dogs. In case you're wondering what the difference is between open class dogs and Iditarod dogs, they tend to be shorter hair. They tend to be a little bit more of a hound mix. And you can see that in their bodies. And, and, and then they tend to be a little bit smaller because they're designed to run much faster and for longer. So here you go. Giving you the behind the scenes. There's thousands of people here in Anchorage. There's Sean right there getting ready. You excited? Oh yeah, I'm excited. Dogs look great. Yeah, they're, they're doing their job. Excellent. There's Sean right there from Fairbanks. He's been mushing about 15 years. So he gets the honor going first. Right, there's Dan right there on the sled. Thank you for all you do, Dan. Welcome. Appreciate it. This is Valerie. There we go. Thanks for helping out. Andrews is so exciting here. Charlie Connor's team here. Boom, boom. Hey guys. So we're just a few minutes away from the start. This is what it looks like as the mushers get ready to go to the start line. There are thousands of people on 4th Ave today, friends. Let us know if you've ever been to Anchorage before. Let us know who you're cheering for and where you're from. We love that. Look at all these folks, their beautiful furs on. Yeah. Go Anchorage, looking good. People from all over the world, all over the state, champion. right here. Engineer and a dog musher by occupation. His concerns, the sheer amount of energy there is. Look at that. And you're right up to the start line for the first team. We still have a few minutes, so we'll give you a nice long look at how the components of the race work. A snow machine is tethered to the sled to help it get to the start line without a breakaway team. Then Anchorage Fire Department, they take over. And they've been doing this for years. They get to stand on the sled, hold its brake system. So the sled has brakes and things right here. There's a drag mat. There's different connectors. And this is what keeps this team right here. There's Paul. He helps out every year, gives them advice. He's their lead sled holder. 
So thank you, Anchorage Fire Department. Thank you, Anchorage Police Department, for blocking all the roads. Thank you, Anchorage Public Works. And then here we go. We got the street for dogs. There's Lena right there helping out. And we are right here on 4th Ave. You guys ready? Here we go. Look at our VIP section. Yeah! Next year you want to be these guys right here. The streets are packed, but they have the best seats in the house. They get the bleachers. Look at how close they are to the dogs. Look at that. Boom. They are 20 yards from the dogs. That's it. So next year, get here early. Get the bleachers. There's people all the way down fourth have thousands of people here in Anchorage celebrating community the Ferrandi all the events here everybody looking great we got two minutes to go I'm gonna go by and swing by and get them later here we are friends our first team all 13 teams appear to be starting today nobody has scratched me yesterday every team had a little encounter with something either uh, you know some sticks on the trail from the wind or one team did see a moose. There was no injury there. Um, some teams got going a little bit too fast. And we try to capture that in exclusive interviews. So stay tuned. Watch the YouTube channel. Look at these guys. What's going on in your mind? It's actually a pretty quiet team here, isn't it? There we go. The lead dogs are focused. Looking down the trail. These guys, they're small, but they're mighty. They have an incredible VO2 max. They have incredible ability to convert oxygen into power. So they're going to run in the 15 mile an hour range. Sean said yesterday he kept them right at the average that he wanted them to run at. He was shooting for 15.3 miles an hour. That's where he kept them. Oh yeah, let's look at these guys. One minute to race time. Share the feed. Let friends know how cool Anchorage, Alaska is because not many cities in the world have ever even tried to pull this off, let alone 89 years of the Fur Rondi. So exciting. Fastest teams will start last. How great is that? So good to see all your comments from around the world. Look at you, you're so beautiful. All right. Here we go. 30 seconds to race start, day two. Really nice conditions, like I said. There's the shot. Better than if you were here. You're in the front row, friends. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And there they go, he's off. Our first bid for day two, that is Sean Constantine Dawolski with a mixed team of his own dogs and Buddy Streeper dogs. Rookie year, having a great run, day two here. His goal is to get around the track all three days. That's the only way that you change from a rookie to a veteran here in the Ferrande Open World Championship. Look at all the people lining the streets. Thousands of people, thanks to all of our sponsors, thanks to all you. Thanks to everybody who makes this special. Charlie Connor here from Saskatchewan. This is Charlie Connor with a time of 103.10 for the first He's going to work on getting that crowd worked up. That's so great. Charlie's here to bring the energy. His rookie year as well. <laughs> Hello, Western Canada. Thanks for watching and rooting for me. Right on. There you go. Giving the home crowd the cheer. Let's look at some of these guys. There's a lot of power here. <laughs> There's a lot of power. Now, you might ask, do the team start with the same number of dogs on day two? Seconds. Not usually. Usually a dog stays home. And they're not allowed to add any new dogs. So the Fur Rondi day one dogs will complete day two or day three or they'll stay in the truck. If a dog gets tired, the musher has to bring them home in the bag. 15. So a lot of strategy. 15 seconds to start here, friends. 10. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Go! Charlie Connors out down just more from down to Red Wyoming 
coming up next, our youngest muster in the race, 29 years old. There he is, fist bumping. Look at him all the way down, getting that crowd from all over the world excited, throwing high fives where he can, putting out the old Hulk Hogan ear, can I hear you? Charlie Connor bringing tons of great energy from his part of the world. We love all the Canadian and international racers who come to Anchorage, make the big journey here. It makes a big difference. The crowd always appreciates it. Look at how many people are here, friends. This place is packed today. We got Jess Moore in the shoot right now. And 13 dogs dropping one from the 14 dog string. And Alex is here today, so we'll go in on that. There's Jess right there. Yes, it's Alex's sister right there. Okay, a minute for the team. There she is. Yeah. Good to see them two together. Look at that nice hug from Jesse to Alex. Dog team's looking really happy. They're out of Wyoming, Bondurant, all the friends and family back home. We miss y'all. Look at this beautiful dog right here. You are absolutely gorgeous. Beyond any words. We got a couple calm dogs here. So that's what you're looking at. Anchorage Fire Department again doing the hold. Bib number 11. Jess Moore. Another rookie. There she is. You can hear that break mat down. You can hear all the people cheering her on. And so great to see Alex Crittenden here going through some health challenges. We love her so much, and it's just great she could make the journey up. There's Jess, her handler, living the dream right now. That team got a little distracted right there, so they're going to get a little bit of help just to get untangled there. We'll turn it around so we get that next team in, but that happens. Okay. Andrea Bond here, our good friend from Salcha. Her husband Gary in yellow, Gary Markley, so they alternate mushers. That's one of the great mushing families here who have a small kennel up in Salcha, Alaska, work hard together, and then share in the fun of it all. With a time some years Gary runs, some years Andrea runs. for the first day of racing, and 15 dogs out front, front dropping from 18 the day before. One minute at the line. Yes. Yes. There's the Andrea. A little quick change up front. That's how you do it. And remember, if you're ever in the mushing world, you got to stay calm, think clearly, and act decisively. So they decided to change out a lead dog right here at the start. That's okay. That is perfect. Change them out. Championship. And they'll put that dog right back in the team. And there you go. 30 seconds. They've got that all figured out now. Plenty of time for Andrea. Oh, we got some nice singing howling going on. 15. 10. Okay, there they go. It looks like they're together. It's always the hardest yeah, part here. Andrea Bond, Salt Alaska's finest, heading out there on day two. Happy dog team, looking good. This is what we call move up day. You want to move up in your positioning today. I know Andrea would love to be in that top five, so she's got a little bit of work to do. Bib number 10, that means 10th place yesterday. Heading out there, beautiful trail. Her dogs be able to chase. All right, Marvin, Marvin Cochrane from North Pole, Alaska, longtime veteran. Again, moving dogs around a little bit. There you go, they're changing dogs, making some last minute adjustments. Those lead dogs look real focused. There he comes.
Good looking lead dogs there. Oh yeah, you excited? They just want the trail. You can see that brown black lead dog there is just thinking about that trail. Give me that trail. I want to lead this team. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Wow, what an excited team here. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. There goes Marvin, bib number nine. That means his ninth place finisher yesterday. Heading down out of North Pole. Almost four decades racing here, Marvin. Congratulations to you and your wife, Kat, on a beautiful dog team. He works all winter, all year to be able to be here. And there he goes. You can see how packed the streets are. There's thousands and thousands of people in Anchorage. This is the mushing capital of the world. This is the mushing district. And here we are. Frank Haberman is a doctor out of Clam Gulch. He's lived in Australia. And they have a place in Denmark, I believe, as well. We're sending Frank lots of love. He just lost his wife six weeks ago to cancer. He's a very dedicated musher. His team's a beautiful team here. Look at them. They are fired up. There's Frank. Follow him back a little bit. Look at their beautiful eyes. Thirty seconds. There's the Anchorage Fire Department, fully committed to holding that sled right there. Thanks again to the race vets, all the volunteers. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And there goes Frank right there, friends. Frank Haberman, bid number eight. It's moving up day again. He's had some fast days in years past. He runs a generally older dog team, six, seven, eight years old. He's in one of those parts in Alaska that doesn't get nearly as much snow as it used to. Down on the Kenai. I've been covering sled dog sports for eight years. Back in the day, we could go down to the Kenai for sled dog races. Those don't happen anymore. So there you go. Here comes Tetzner. Michael Tetzner from Berg, Germany. Again, looking to move up in the rankings. Get himself on the podium. He's got two days to do it. His dogs are gorgeous. Happy sled dogs. Beautiful. Tons of energy. Go, Michael is right. He brings his family from Europe every year. You know, we have no teams out past the Gamble Coleman. Okay. There's a kiss for his daughter. Well, you're all back into your seats. Time for the turn leg here for our first pitcher's coming back. Thirty seconds. They have a couple words up there. You're just joining us. We're halfway through the day two start here in downtown Fourth Ave. You can also listen on the radio online. Khar, ninety-six point seven. If you're here in Anchorage or online. You got Mike and Eddie Streeper up there. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Michael Tetzner from Bar Germany is outbound in Alaska. 
There's Mike right there looking good. Little high five for the run. Nice job, Michael Tetzner. So great to see his fan club out there. He's just put in so much, as has his family. Sitting in good position there. He's right in the middle of the pack. So great to have Sherry Thurman join us from Bourne, Texas. Good to have you here. And anywhere you are in the world, whether you're watching live or on the rebroadcast. So we're exciting <laughs> reverse finish. All right, Andy Hewden, good friend of mine from the Nana. We love Andy's energy, his attitude. Look at these beautiful open dogs. Check him with all of his dogs. Remember, you're going to want to find your times at the Azra page, friends. Look at that, Andy Hewton going back towards the sled. He's got some time. They are ready to go. Give me that trail. Go get him, Andy. There you go. Thumbs up for Andy. Looking good. He's waving the crowd. We'll zoom in down there. Again, thanks to everybody who makes this race happen. It's such a rare event that a city shuts down its entire downtown 4th Ave for two, three days in a row. Makes a big deal. I'm making it easy to be here. There's vendors everywhere. Food everywhere. People everywhere. It's just so neat. Good number six up next. Or five is up next. That's going to be Jake Robinson. He's looking to get on that podium in the next couple days. Beautiful looking dog team. He's out of Minnesota. On the second and third day, you get to see the racing dogs and your dogs in the race. So that's what we're trying to get down to is the four team and the best for the last two days of racing. One minute the line for Jake Robinson from Bemidji, Minnesota. There we go, nice little moment there. Look at that, perfect. Jake got second place last year in La Paz. It's a big race up in Canada. He knows how to get on the podium. He's just got to keep it together today. Keep those speeds up. 15. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! And our highest placing Alaskan marshal. Okay, yep. That's happening. You have a little dog getting distracted down there, but he's moving along. Let's zoom in on Jake there. Remember, the Rondi is challenging because you have to negotiate all of this. You have to negotiate crowds and blinking lights and blocked roads and hills, culverts, bridges, trails. All sorts of people everywhere, and those dogs have to understand that running straight ahead is their mission. Dogs who get that love it. Dogs who are a little nervous, haven't been trained as well, they will get distracted. That's what this race is about. It's about a mental fortitude as well as stamina and conditioning. Here's Greg Taylor, the whole Taylor family out of Fairbanks. Ricky in the front there. Yep, they're getting those lead dogs lined out. Here we go. There's Greg and his wife. There, you have a little moment. Family. 
Okay. Alex. Alex. There's Greg coming back. Boy, are you beautiful. I'll give you a little look at the... There's Michael's wife. Anchorage fire again. So a little look at the start line for your friends. Downtown Anchorage right now has thousands of people on 4th Ave, literally lining everywhere. Lots of events going on all throughout the day. Tonight's the fireworks. Here we go, Greg Taylor. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There goes the Taylor team, moving beautifully. Nice clean start after all that prep. Andy Mello, St. Zenon. He's got to feel good about that. Twenty-seven years rushing experience, mostly mid-distance, five times. Look at that pretty beautiful dog team there, Greg Taylor. We have number four that uh, yesterday came in fourth. Here we go, Annie Mallow. They're now in the top three from yesterday. Out of Quebec, our rookie. Very, very, very fast team. Look at that, Annie Mallow, friends. We are so glad that she's here. She did wonderful racing in the Wyoming stage. Got second place there. One minute. We got a singer right there, don't we? We'll talk all about it there. Active happy dog team here. Fireworks are tonight around 7.30. Stay tuned to all the full running events, friends. 7.30 tonight. Here we go. Three, two, one's coming up soon. It's going to be fast here. Annie is looking to have a solid 15. day today. There she is. She gave a big wave to the camera. That's for all you friends of hers from around the world, Quebec and beyond. Look at her waving to the crowd. Dog team flying out of the start here. She'll have Buddy Streeper next chasing her and then Remy Kost from Sweden. So two Canadians and a Swede in the top three here in the Fur Rendezvous World Championship Open Class. That is so neat. Here's Buddy's team. Buddy's won 10 for rendezvous. That's tied with George Atlas. 17 balls Amazing record. Today, so he's if three. he wins this year, he'll go to number 11. Nelson, Look at this beautiful Columbia. line of dogs. There's his lead dog look right there. These are a hound mix, remember. Open class dogs are different than our Diderot dogs. Buddy for the most the part, they're houndy right and shorter hair. Faster and smaller. That's one the minute, characteristics. One minute. Here comes Buddy up the line right now. You can hear everybody cheering him on. Hey, we have dog teams out as far as Lake Otis and beyond right now. There's his family right there on the benches. There's the shot. Buddy Streeper looking to have a good clean run today. He ran a really nice run yesterday, but he had some slowdowns in the first four miles. Lost some time there. There he goes. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, go! 
Buddy Blaine Streeper has outbound our defending champion for this race. <laughs> He's doing all the high five, and there we go. There's Buddy. Look at that. Point in the crowd. So cool. You get to see all the components here, how dynamic this is. It's a whole long string of dogs there, over 50 feet. So it's just like a delivery semi going down the road right now. He's got a lot of power there. Still waving to people. How cool. All right. We're going to have a very special moment here. This is a quiet dog team. You will not hear them bark very often. They've been trained that way. Look at that. Lead dogs are out there on their own. They're super quiet. He had the fastest time yesterday by five full minutes. Very, very quiet dogs, and they remain so up until they take off. There he is. Remy has a moment. He's also in his race running suit, which is more common in Europe of sprint mushers. He's giving them that calm sign. They know that Dad will be happy with a fast run. We have a video up from yesterday of his wife explaining how they train them this way. Look at there, dead silent. It's amazing. This does not happen very often, friends. 30 seconds. Temperature you can hear the utter calm. Look at that. Occasional shower now. They flew around the trail yesterday. They were so fast in the first big turn, four kilometers 15. in, that they actually hit the fence. So he'll have to do some speed management today. Ten. There's his partner wife right there. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And the 24 minutes we are off and Watch Remy, he's kicking, he's not kidding around. He is gunning for the championship. Look at that. Sprint mushing as if it were a 10 mile race. This is a 25 mile race and he maintains that level of intensity, kicking, running, and picking up speed at all times. He is not on a drag mat to slow his team down. He has the throttle wide and open, friends. That, we'll that is on so, so can, uh, exciting. Remember, you're following on the radio, and this is every year. Thanks so much for joining us. Once every day the radio is upstairs with Mike and Eddie. I'm down in the field, here, I get you starts, I get you some in the middle of the race when I can, but the radio is the consistent, so tune into that. Thanks everybody from around the world for caring about Anchorage and the sled dogs here and the community around it. It's a great community, look how big it is. There are literally people everywhere. We'll be with you soon.